excuse my voice, I've just given the same dog and phone yet Cal Academy across the back. Um, essentially what I'm going to do this afternoon is I have a stock 20 to 25 minute presentation that will give you a brief understanding of where we've come from, where we're going to, and what Specify 6 will be able to do for you. Um, and then after that I'll open it up to you guys. I have a version of Specify 6 running on my machine. And then I will let you dictate as to which pieces of the package you want me to go into more detail and which pieces of the package you actually want to show me, uh, you want me to show you. Um, just a little bit of, about me. Um, I am by no stretch of the imagination a programmer. My primary task is as a collection manager. Um, I, am, I am the ichthyology collection at the University of Kansas, so I look after the collection. Um, and that is 75% of my job. The other 25% of my job, I'm employed, employed by Specify as what they call a usability lead. Essentially, I interface between the programmers and the users and try and make sure that the users are getting from the program what they want and the programmers understand what the users want from the program. Um, I was employed in that capacity for Specify 5 version, which came out before 6. Um, to try and make it a little more user friendly and make sure that we were addressing all of the issues that all of the different disciplines have. Um, and then I continued in that role with Specify 6, um, making sure that we were addressing all of the issues that all of the different collections have. Um, so I'm going to go through this presentation for 20 or 25 minutes and try and get through it as quickly as possible and then we'll open it up to actually going around and playing in Specify and seeing what we can have a look at. So let's start right at the beginning, what is Specify? Um, essentially, Specify is a, is a program that allows for the efficient computerization and management of your biological collections information and the mobilization of that in information onto the internet using web access and digger access. Um, it consists of a highly customizable forms-based interface, so you can customize all of the forms and the fields to look exactly the way that you want them to look. Um, some power powerful querying tools so that you can actually drill down into the data that you've got in your database and bring back the information that you're interested in. And then a, ro a robust report designer for re designing all of these weird and wonderful reports that different collections need, labels, loan forms, cataloging reports, accessioning reports, etc., etc. Um, our major aim is to advance biological collections computing um, through communication and collaboration and through the, s the software and the services that we provide. We don't only supply the, the software, we supply a whole bunch of services along with that in terms of migrating your data into Specify creating all of your forms for you, creating your reports for you, um, help desk situations, etc., etc. And we'll go into that in a little more detail a little, a little bit later. The software itself is free. It's freely available for download off our website to anybody who wants to use it. Um, all we ask is that folks register with us in order to, in order to be able to take advantage of our, of our support services. Um, and the latest version of Specify is now open source, so it's freely available to everybody. So we've been through about 10 major releases in about 15 years, right from the old Muse days, right the way through Oz and then various incarnations of Specify, leading up to the latest version now. Uh, we've been supported consistently by NSF since 1987. I think it's one of the longest running um, single grants that's been, like, been funded by NSF at the moment. Um, we have a staff of 12 people, some of the ugly mugs you can see down at the bottom there. Um, that attend to the programming, the development, the conversions, the web and digger stuff, and then obviously user issues. We have representation all over the world. We've got 230 collections in, in 21 countries around the world, 100 of those in the US and 39 states. We've got representation of all of the different disciplines, all of the natural history disciplines, all of the paleo divisions, etc., etc. Um, and we estimate that we have about 20 million specimens catalogued in specified at the moment. And that is increasing all the time, obviously, as new collections come on board and as existing collections catalog more and more stuff. So let's go into Specify 6 itself. The grant was funded in Jul July 2004 and programming began in earnest about three years ago um, with four programmers. Um, a bunch of those we have lost subsequently to other places. Um, I just heard from, from Rod, our chief developer, the other, day, is that th the other day that that has now increased to over a quarter of a million lines of code that they've coded at that time um, into Specify. We've increased the functionality and the features in 6 over what was available in 5 and totally rejigged the data model. So the data model now contains 143 tables and 2,400 fields. The old data model contained, I think, about 80 tables um, and just over 1,500 fields. 
So it's been augmented as well as manipulated to try and take take advantage of all of these different scenarios that people want to, to want to use with the data model. Um, we've augmented the taxon capabilities within the data model um, for different disciplines. We've increased the attachment um, scenarios, so now you can attach images and PDFs and all sorts of things to different places in the data model. We've included co conservator and registrar functions within the data model, um, so that you can have global registrar functions operating over multiple collections. Um, DNA capabilities, exocarte capabilities for the herbarium folks. Um, field notebook entry tables, so that you can put in all your field notebook entries, etc. Um, various scenarios that address paleontological things that we didn't address in the past. And then beefed up the interactions, um, exchanges in and out, um, borrows, repository agreements, all of those sorts of things. And this is the scary diagram. This is what the schema looks like. Um, we usually don't try and show this to people because it just scares the living daylights out. So Specify 6 is written in Java, which makes it cross-platform capable. It'll run on a PC, it'll run on Linux, it'll run on, on a Mac. Um, it's designed to be database agnostic, so you can essentially plug any back end into the back of it and it should function. Um, the first release of Specify is shipping with MySQL and only functions with MySQL. Well, that's all we've tested it on. Um, but it is designed to be database agnostic, so in the future, um, other database engines can be used at the back end. It's completely open source, and the, the source code is available under FOSS and GPL2. It's being designed as a collection management platform. Essentially, what we are what we are looking at is designing the core elements for the for the for the various disciplines, and then hoping that third-party folks are going to come along and design plugins that will plug into the system and increase the capabilities of the system, and thereby try and initiate some sort of collaborative and community type. Um, organization where people are contributing to this to this whole system and making it you know a better system for everybody um, it's designed to be multi collection and discipline capable so you can put all of your collections and all of your disciplines into a single database and the security system will handle all of the necessary security issues um, surrounding that um, we've included a whole bunch of third-party applications that um, that will go out and, and get information off web services and bring it back into the application Biogeomancer, Geolocate, Google Earth, those sorts of things. Um, a bunch of web services and online providers are also included, ITIS, Fishbase, various things like that, and it's relatively easy to incorporate others that you would want to use. We've also gone into a number of strategic partnerships with people. Um, James Macklin at Yale is doing this whole filtered push thing for Herbaria. Um, we're going into a strategic partnership with him. Um, the botanical image OCR st um, stuff that's being done at Michigan. Uh, Morph Bank for images. Um, and DNA stuff through barcoding of life, and there are others in the works as well. We're also looking at this as being a stage frequent release process where we can simply integrate new functionality or fix bugs and just throw out a new release, and as soon as you start up Specify, it'll prompt you that there's a new release available, and you can go ahead and install it. Um, so essentially a smart update type system. Um, 